I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This doesn't even look like our house. Are you Whoa. kidding me? <laughs> give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This week I'm helping a super creative family with a craft room makeover and I'm really jazzed up about this because it's the first time I'm getting to tackle this kind of space on the weekender and it's right up my alley. So this family has five kids and they're all really creative and they have all the craft supplies you could ever want. It's kind of like my dream come true. But the space isn't really inspirational. It's just kind of lacking a personality and that's where I come in. A crafty oasis. This huh? is a crafty oasis. I love it down here. I bring my kids down here or I send them down here whenever we're busy, we're making dinner, or they're bored, or it's a Sunday. And I like checking things out here. I haven't been down here in like three months. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so a little longer. You're not the crafty one in the family? Uh, I change the air conditioning filter and the smoke detector batteries, and that's about it. That's about it. He's handy. Hi, I'm Gershon. And I'm Aliza, and we're really excited that Monica is here with us. We've got a bunch of kids. Actually, uh, Aliza has uh, six children. I have five. I'm her oldest. <laughs> it's so neat to have an entire room for creativity. I wanted to have a space for my kids. My daughter's artistic, I'm artistic. My boys love being creative and having lots of fun building projects. That's and awesome. making a mess. And, and making hey, a huge mess. It's and a the creative dining process. Table. That's one of the reasons why I don't come down here. Right. <laughs> well, you have the perfect room for it. You have organization, like everything's we labeled. Bins. Right, so my mom was a preschool teacher. Okay. She passed away almost two years ago. Okay and we got left with all the supplies. She had them all in bins, and awesome. this is all her organization. Oh, that's really So special. this is a credit to mom. Yeah, we call it the Bubby Store, because I saw that's that. grandma, <laughs> that means grandmother, and the kids were able to go shopping and so bring home all their little treasures. <laughs> and so now we have all the treasures here. Okay, so this is Bubby's store This now. is the Bubby store. She was super creative. So we have all of those crafts and supplies. So we basically have our own craft store right in our own basement. We've got stuff, we've got plenty of stuff to do. It's just not a very exciting space and it needs some pizzazz. I think that you have all the right elements, but I don't feel like the space is inspiring creativity right. yet. So we have everything we could possibly need. I think we're just missing the inspiration and a little bit of style. Yes. So okay. we'll grab bins and get everything out of here, okay? okay. This week I've got my carpenter friend Ben helping us navigate all the amazing projects to come. Do some painting. Painting. All right. So I'll show you what I have in mind for the space. Okay. Any guesses? Uh, hmm. I hope it's not gray because I really hate gray. <laughs> <laughs> if you open gray, we're like, okay, I'm gonna learn to love gray. You're gonna learn to love gray. That's funny. Oh, no. That's funny. <laughs> Good to know this. And here's your new gray paint. <laughs> <laughs> However, I have so much color planned for this space okay, that if great. we make your walls colorful, it's gonna be straight up circus in here. Okay, I, to I trust you. That's okay. why you're here. I totally All right. trust you. Good. I was like, first project. <laughs> Just don't give me I mean, gray. I still don't like it, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's gray. I think the only color that I really don't like is gray. Once we have like paintings on the wall or something on the wall other than gray, I think it's gonna be fabulous, but I don't like gray. <laughs> It's gray. <laughs> this is white and that is gray. Okay, well, compared to white walls, it's gray. <laughs> it is. But it's not dark gray. It's not dark gray. If you want me to do all the painting, I No! Because I feel slightly I will horrendous. totally jump in and help you paint. <laughs> Chick hates this color. Aliza is not a fan of gray and she is not afraid to let me know. In fact, I kind of think she's roasting me a bit. <laughs> is pretty special. Aliza may not be on board now, but I know she will be. The gray will merely act as the perfect backdrop for the whole design, which will certainly incorporate some stronger colors. Just wait and see.
Ben's been outside prepping our next project, which will bring in some much needed storage, organization, and workspace for the family. All right, so you and I are gonna work on one of our first big builds. And I just finished a project with your wife and I'm kind of hoping that this one goes a little better. Has she told you anything yet? I haven't heard a thing. Okay, well, let me ask you a little trivia question, how well you know your wife. Mm -hmm. What is her least favorite paint color? Uh, she didn't like the gray that I chose in the kitchen. Guess what, I just painted your basement. Got it, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I, I like gray. She. It. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. the pressure is on now okay. this weekend that right. everything else has to be awesome. Mm -hmm. We are going to build her a new craft table. Mm -hmm. It'll kind of be the focal point in the center of the room, okay? But I want to kind of customize it a little bit more. So, these are kitchen cabinets mm -hmm. that are in stock at Lowe's, but I want to use them as the base of her craft table. Mm -hmm. So, that way at each end, she has tons of storage and she can easily access a bunch of her kind of like daily supplies that the kids sure. use. This piece of plywood is going to be the top. So, it's it's nice and big. This mm -hmm. is actually the size of it. And what I want to do is customize it a little bit. So what I'm thinking is these galvanized buckets are going to hold all kinds of art supplies that you guys already have. But then I want a place so that it's not just sitting up on the table. We're actually going to use a hole saw and drill some holes in here. All right, so little tips here for when you're using a hole saw. You want to go through really straight down and then you want to stop as soon as the bit pokes through. You don't want to go all the way through or the wood will kind of splinter and you'll have a really uneven edge. Okay, so you can see that there's a little hole where the bit made it through. That's where we're going to put the bit right back into that same hole and it'll ensure that we cut a perfect circle. What's cool about this is that these buckets are tapered, thus they will sit and hold there. And then, depending on whatever craft they're doing, they can just pop them in and out. It's cool, right? Yeah. Pretty neat. I love this plywood, it's great. It's perfect quality for this table, mm -hmm. but I don't love the unfinished edge. So we could trim it out with wood, but what we're going to use is we're gonna use the veneer edging. Have you used this before? I have. You have, perfect. So the veneer, as you can see, has glue and we need to heat up the glue to activate it. All we need to do is iron it on. Okay, so right now the iron is on our cotton setting and basically we wanna keep it on for about 20 seconds, slowly moving it. You wanna heat up the glue as quickly as possible and then come through with a block of wood and just press it down so that as it cools down, it's adhering to the wood underneath it. All right, and then our top is gonna to go right on here. So this is kind of how it's gonna be assembled, but I don't actually wanna assemble it until we get it down there because it would be a nightmare to navigate through the house. It would never fit. This is our last big project for today, but I have a bit of homework for you. So I'm gonna have you stain the top and the sides. This is a natural tone stain, so it's not gonna change the color too, too much. It'll work really well with everything else I have planned. Okay. I hear it matches great with gray paint. <laughs> I also need to go see if your wife's still speaking to me. <laughs> I got it. You got this? Yeah. All right. Good man. <laughs> All right. Day two. How are you feeling? Are we still on speaking terms? We're on speaking terms for the moment. <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> I gotta find out what the project is. As long as it doesn't involve boring gray, we're a-okay. All right. I think the first project that I've planned today is going to put me back in your good graces. You had organizational systems for everything, like very organized, but none of it was pretty. So I am gonna give you the ultimate craft organization wall, and it is going to be so cool and pretty and creative. Amazing, 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 amazing. Good. Okay. <laughs> I like the idea of using pegboard to store things and organize. However, I kind of wanted to level up from just a basic store-bought pegboard. So we're okay. actually going to DIY and build our own kind of jumbo pegboard. Awesome. I okay. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be it. really cool. I think you might love it the most. <laughs> but um, we're going to work with a sheet of plywood here. Okay. And I already kind of made us a little bit of a cheater here. I'm a big fan of like simplifying projects as much as possible. So this board is gonna help us know where all of our holes go, keep us straight, steady, okay? So on this side, the hole is three inches from the end. Down at this end, it's six inches from the end. And then on the next one, we're gonna flip it around and it'll be six inches. So it'll give us a nice staggered pattern. 
We're clamping our cheater board to the plywood so it doesn't move. To create our pegboard holes, we're using a 3 quarter inch paddle bit. For our pegboard pegs, I picked up 3 quarter inch dowels that will fit perfectly into the holes. Grab that end, we're going to put it on its side. All right. So this is how it's gonna go on the wall. It'll be horizontal like this. And I cut some of our dowels so that you can see that they fit nicely. So we could put a shelf here. We can hang tools. You can put spools of ribbon. Fantastic. I have big organization ideas for this. I am so excited. Ben and I are actually gonna be the ones to install this in the room because I wanted you to kind of have an idea of where we're going, but I really want to surprise you with this wall because you're going to love it. <laughs> really excited. It's pretty easy really too, excited. right? Not bad at all. All right, I'll bring the wood in here. Just stick this down. All right, I'm gonna have you help me with a pretty basic build. One of my goals for this space is to make it super inspirational. And we talked about how that was like the one thing missing from it. So I wanna create a space to display all the artwork and creations that are made in here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a combination of bulldog clips mm -hmm. on wood, which is like, these are perfect for hanging just paintings and drawings. And then when I got in here, I realized how many canvas artwork pieces you guys have. So we're gonna do a little like picture ledge where all of their canvases can go up. Like a gallery wall. Like an art gallery, exactly. Okay. And I think it's gonna be really cool because when you first walk into this space, it'll be the first thing that you see. We're finding a level line in studs where we'll attach our pine one-by material. We stain the wood a rich walnut color to help it pop on the gray wall. So this piece is gonna be the bulldog clip one. What's really cool about the ones I got, they are magnetic. magnetic. So stick them on the screw here, on the back. Ta-da! The idea here is we'll add extra screws onto the face of the wood where we can attach the clips. This time we don't need to find studs because the screws will only be holding the lightweight clips and artwork. Okay, so we have our bulldog clip display ready. Now we're gonna move on to canvases. And for this one, we're gonna use the same one by that we used up there. Mm -hmm. But the difference is we're actually going to attach two pieces, mm -hmm. basically in an L shape, and that way the canvases can sit on them. And we're back to finding studs for our screws. We'll need them to ensure the shelf is secure. All right. I think it looks cute, right? Better here than on the fridge. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> Spoken like a true dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, well, I have a ton to do left in this room. I need to bring back basically a bajillion craft items. So you're out of here, and I will let you know when the room started to see. Looking forward. All right, well, get out of here. I got to get crafty. Now it's time for our secret project that's going to give the homeowner's old dresser some new life. All right, so one of my favorite things is upcycling, or even if you want to call it hacking a piece of furniture. I love taking an old existing piece of furniture and giving it a completely new purpose or new life. And that's exactly what Ben and I are going to do to this dresser that the homeowners had in their basement when we got here yesterday. So what we've done so far is took off the existing hardware and Ben painted it using furniture paint. And that's really key to mention here because it grips to the wood and it required us to do very little sanding. Aliza mentioned that they love wrapping presents. She has tons of ribbon and tons of accessories. So we are gonna turn this into the ultimate wrapping station. So one of the drawers is completely broken and that's sort of to be expected when you're dealing with old furniture. And we are going to make basically <laughs> Really fell Here, apart. let me see that piece, of, that piece of, yeah, perfect. of very solid wood. But basically what we're gonna do here is put plywood in and make it so this area just slides out and it's additional workspace. Ben has cut our plywood the exact size of the bottom drawer. And I'm gonna attach drawer slides to slide it out. So we're gonna pre-drill our holes for the little screws they came with the kit, just because the wood is a little flimsy. So we have full extension glide rails now. And basically, our plywood is gonna live on here. Sweet, that thing slides like butter. Nice. So now we're just going to attach the drawer front directly into the plywood. So we'll put a couple nail holes, we'll fill it with some putty, no big deal. All right, so that was project one. 
on to project two, which involves all the fun judging of a present, ribbon. So up here, we're gonna create a ribbon dispenser. I got the idea when I saw this without hardware. So basically we're going to drill holes in here, put the ribbon in the drawer and feed it through. Basically the ribbon feeds right through can pull and snip and there's no like you know ribbon can get all like bundled and knotted it might but it's happening in the drawer and you won't even know so for this one it's actually gonna be attached over here onto the side and this is gonna hold all of her wrapping paper so it's like a really great amount of space the base of the wrapping paper rolls will go here and then Ben's gonna kind of just build like a little piece around here so they don't flop all over sounds good Good job, ben. Okay. So now because I'm using this drawer on the side for the wrapping paper, there's obviously gonna be a bit of a hole. So what I'm gonna do here is paint the inside of the drawer blue so it's a little less noticeable. And then Ben's gonna put a piece of plywood here and I'm gonna put all of her gift bags and things like that in there. Okay, Okay. Thanks. sounds good. All right, so now we're gonna get ready to install our giant pegboard. So what Ben has done so far is level out and attach two by threes to the wall. This is really important to keep your pegboard off the wall so that the pegs can go in and you can put things in and out of them. You wouldn't want it flush to the wall. So now we're gonna put the last one up and then we can attach it. This wall needs to be able to handle a good amount of weight, so you wanna make sure that these are into studs. One other thing I had been prepping are these cabinets. So this is going to give them tons of hidden storage. These cabinets will kind of replace all the bins of storage that she had around the entire perimeter of the room and really make this entire wall look like a custom built-in wall. I just wanna show you while I still have a gap here why we have it off the wall. When these dowels go through the hole, we need a little bit of depth there to give them strength. If it was flush against the wall, they'd barely be in there, it wouldn't be strong. So putting the two by three gives me a couple inches and lots of stability. And look at our pattern, nice and straight. Looks good. Looks good. Worked out. All right, so we are gonna get a coat of white paint onto this so it ties into the cabinetry that we've put in. We're also gonna put some pine down here on top of these kitchen cabinets and then comes the fun part. I can load in all the crafty goodness and I'm super excited about that. So let's get it painted so we can get decorating. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. Spectacular. Oh, I almost fainted. <laughs> <laughs> no fainting. Oh, oh that's the pegboard. Oh, and that's the drawer. That's our drawer. Oh, with the ribbon coming out of the drawer. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> oh my gosh, the ribbon. And the kids won't mess it up. It was a dresser, it and now it's like super I bought wrapping. that dresser at a yard sale for 10 bucks. About <laughs> Best 10 bucks you ever About said. 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're good? Yeah. I'm a little dizzy. Come oh, over here, I'll help you do steady. Oh, the bubby like store, it. look, it's the bubby store. Okay, boring gray, you win. Yes! <laughs> It goes great with the floor. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so is this a boring space at all? No. So craft table that we built. So this love is what it. Gershon and I built together mm -hmm. and stools. It. And the coolest thing is that you have Cabinets. storage Yep, at the end. So all Amazing. kinds of containers for all your and craft supplies. And sunken in. Everything's yes. like there ready to go. Yes, and these can swap out. So uh, their other supplies oh. can go into the buckets and that way it's super easy. So if it's coloring or if it's painting or whatever oh it is, you can kind of change it up. And then with the pegboard wall, 
I have to be honest, I'm completely jealous of this. I love it so much. Yeah, and it's, nice. it's all movable, exchangeable, so you have tons of extra shelves and pegs that we left for you. Mm -hmm. And then those are kitchen cabinets underneath, like mm -hmm. the ones Perfect. that you'd usually see above a microwave. Mm -hmm. So we installed right. a whole row of them. So all Amazing. of this closed storage kind of replaces all the bins that were around the perimeter of the room. Right. And the kids can reach it. It's really low. It's yes. a perfect size. Yep. And then I really think the kids are going to love seeing their art up there. Yes. What do you think? I think so. We needed a space to have a display wall because you do something, but if it doesn't go somewhere and you can't right. look at it and admire it and feel good about it, yeah. it just it leaves it unfinished. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Do you feel like <laughs> yes. this does justice to the Bubby store? Yes. She always had things. She had things organized in bins, in crates and now they'll have this as a memory and they'll be able to look at it and say like, you know, we, we have this here and we can create in her memory. Like you might actually come down here now, yeah, right? I'm already thinking of some projects I want to do. <laughs> I'm going to have to claim time with my space. We're going to have to have a chart. I know. <laughs> well, this was really, really fun for me and I'm dying to see what the kids think. So why don't you grab them and let's see what they think of this space. Okay. okay. All right, go get them. Do you guys want to try out some of the chairs? Is that stuff is that from Bubby cool? or is that new stuff? I have to get the stuff. ball out. What shape do you want it to be? Can you get it back into a box? Keep trying. I'll try. You'll try. I think I know what Your mom said that you might have like friends over and teach like arts and crafts workshops. Yeah. You should. Look, look at this. All right, let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Get him. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Monica, Monica and friends. <laughs> you guys are welcome. Well, that was one super crafty weekender and I loved every second of it. I would love to know what you guys think of this craft space, so leave me a comment below and let me know. And guys, make sure you are subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a single episode of The Weekender. This weekend, I'm helping out a couple with their finished basement. They're looking for the ultimate gaming and entertaining space. The couple said that they want something kind of outside of the box. Well, they called the right girl. I am so excited about some of the crazy and unique ideas I have planned for this space. One, two, three, open your eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 